All right, everyone. Well, I don't know if I started doing a, re a repair video on this or not. Anyway, if I didn't, this is Atari Basketball. I may have because I see where I, I dumped these ROMs, and maybe I did do a little filming on this. I, I don't remember. Anyway, anywho, Atari Basketball. I got a harness preliminarily together. It's just video, sound, well, it's almost everything. This is a connector for the trackball um, for player one and player two. And uh, yeah, so I just, I'll hook this up eventually. I'm not worried about that. Let's get it on the screen and looking proper. I got it turned on. I did a voltage check and we are at four point nine one volts 4.92 so that is good and this looks like a somewhat recently new authentic regulator so i don't need to replace that so that's good i will go over it and solder you know resolder everything that needs to be resoldered but i've got it powered up and this is what it's doing. It's just kind of garbage, and it's not synced. I, I might be, I might be able to just tweak the uh, horizontal hold. I'll probably be able to do that. Just tweak the horizontal hold a little bit to get that to come in. But you can see it's just kind of garbage. So first thing right off the bat, first thing I want to do right off the bat is replace this socket. Because I can get this to do different stuff by messing with the CPU. I just, yeah, I, do, I just don't trust this socket. I don't trust these either. This is, this is a bad deal right here. But, yeah, so, and I don't know if this is supposed to be populated. I don't know if these are supposed to be populated. I don't know. So I need to do a little research yet. Look at the manual and uh, I'll see what's going on with this. But yeah, we're not getting much of anything right now. So first things first is I want to replace this socket. That way I can at least do RAM and ROM checks and stuff like that. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. First things first. Let's change that guy. Okay, hey, Atari Basketball. I uh, tweaked the vertical hold to make that hold vertically. Got the board on the bench. And I actually wired up my test pin. So I now can put this thing into test. And it should be running test right now. Rom bad. Goodness gracious. Okay, we know audio works. So it says H. Rom H is bad. Would that be? Well, one of these? I don't know. Let's see what ROM H means, shall we? I'll have to go to the manual and see what H means. Which ROM is that?
it's bad sockets. If I push down and mess with these chips, see? It's these sockets. Yeah, it is 100% these sockets. So, Ouch. Yeah. Well, these have to be replaced. But what I think I'm going to do instead of replacing these sockets is replace these four and program these ROMs because it's less it's less work to do and I'll replace this one too I'll replace this socket and I'll replace these you know what I might be able to just eliminate these as well this is just a connection issue that's all there's going on here so I think what I what what I do want to do is I don't think I have enough 18 pin sockets to do and it's just a lot less work. So and these regular ROMs are better than the bipolars. The, you can have the bipolar ROMs as a backup set and run it on the regular ROMs. It's just better. So that's the approach that I will take. So I'll replace these sockets, I'll replace this socket, and I'll replace these two sockets. Either that or I'll just replace this socket and I'll program another ROM. I think that's what I'll do, is I'll just go ahead and program another 2716 for right here and replace this socket. So that'll be much better for this board. So as far as power consumption and everything because these use a lot more power than regular uh, 2716 EPROM so that is how I will approach this so I'll go ahead and replace these sockets and program some ROMs and we'll send this whole set back just in a tube Okay, I have replaced these sockets. That one, and I already had replaced the CPU socket, so that's good. And I will make a little list of which ROM goes in what position because these ROMs are not in MAME. I mean, they are in the, what you call it, the, um, uh, the manual. So you could reference the manual for the positions, the numbers. See, they are all numbered, which is nice. And the numbers are very visible. You see. And you know the ROMs are good because the game did come up. It's just these sockets are terrible. So... 
just less work for me to replace these sockets. And it's better for the board because EPROMs are better than bipolar rounds when it comes to this. So, yeah. That's how we're doing. That's how we're going. I'm going to go ahead and program some ROMs, put these guys in tubes, and go from there. Okay, we are complete. I got all these guys removed. Got this guy here, those two removed. I got all of those chips right there. How about that? There you go. So it is on free play. I I need to uh, hook up the joy uh, the uh, trackball. Now this is. I can hook one trackball up, but it's going to control both players. You know, I could do... I could do two trackballs. No, I'm just going to... I don't care. I don't care to play the game. I just need to be able to test it and make sure that both both characters move so I'll just hook both of them up to one trackball one access will move one player hmm. yeah I don't know um, I might have to hook up more lines because I think this is only enough for one one player yeah I don't know let me let me look into this yeah for sure I, I'm gonna have to wire more wires because this is only this is right here is power and then you've got four lines and this is only going to be for one player horizontal and vertical direction and then horizontal and vertical clock so yeah I need to I need four more wires then I can I'm, I'll just do two trackball controls so I need to do more to my harness I need to hook up four more wires and uh, and then we'll be done then we'll be able to we'll be able to uh, check out controls okay I'm gonna turn the sound down because that's uber annoying I've got my trackball things hooked up I'm hooked up to player two right now you see player two player one and player two is the little white square over there see and you know what, let me get the uh, tripod. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm moving player two, which is the little white square there. Down, right, left, or yeah, left, up, down, left, right. Now I'm going to switch over to the other square, the black square. Okay, right, left, right, down, up. So, all the controls there work. I will do... Let me turn the sound back up. I'm pressing a button. Other button. Another button. Okay. I'm going to take it out of test. It says press start, so I'm going to press one player start.
it's hard to play it like this, but... Hey, I scored! <laughs> I'm the white dude! Hey! Jump! Uh-oh. kind of hard to play like that without a control panel but it works it works as it should basketball by Atari I like these old Atari sports games this is actually this would be super fun to have yeah so there you go it looks like it's scoring right as well He's kicking my butt. He's just coming up and stealing it and scoring at will. Yeah. There you go. So what did I do to this? This was a socket issue. I had to... Uh, I replaced the these sockets burnt these program ROMs. I replaced this socket. I replaced these two sockets. I had to burn this ROM. All of the bipolars that were in the board are right here. They're all good, but yeah, just the uh, sockets. I resoldered this regulator. I resoldered it on the back. I resoldered this um, power resistor on the back. I cleaned it up really well. And that is it. Well, there you go. Basketball by Atari. Pretty cool. I like it. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not, please. Um, I'm asking... I'm asking nicely. Please, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, why not subscribe? Check out channel memberships. Check out Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Classic Arcade Repairs. Find me there. Lots of cool stuff. Um, there you go. We'll see you all on the next Classic Arcade Repair. Bye for now.